Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Juice Baseball channel, and welcome back to the series finale of the San Diego Padres rebuild here on MLB The Show 24. That's right, the final episode that will ever exist in the San Diego Padres rebuild is today. The playoffs have arrived, and if you've been following closely with this Padres series, you know we do not have a good history in these playoffs. We've played four seasons of baseball so far, including the, obviously this fifth season uh, that we haven't finished the full year of, but full, four full seasons have been completed. We made the playoffs three years in a row. Made it to the NLCS two years in a row, lost both of those. Made it to the wild card last year with 97 wins and still lost in the wild card, I think, in two games to the Brewers. It was a embarrassing loss. It was a frustrating loss. And it was just a frustrating end of the season. And since this is the final year of Padres baseball that we will ever do, we have to win a World Series. The team has been the best they've ever been. We almost broke the wins record. We got 116 wins this year. 116 wins. That is by far the best team in baseball. The Red Sox were close with 103, but by far we were the best team in all of baseball. Unfortunately, Otani took the MVP from Ellie De La Cruz. Ellie De La Cruz had the best season I've ever seen him have in a simulation in a long time, maybe even ever. He played so well, and yet his amazing season was denied because Shohei Otani, who didn't even play the last month of the year, had a broken hand. The Dodgers aren't even in the playoffs because they got eliminated by the Diamondbacks. So Otani takes the MVP. He robs. Elliot De La Cruz of the MVP, and here we are. It's playoff baseball. It's the Diamondbacks. It's the NLDS. We've got McClanahan, Bobby Miller, Spencer Strider, Cole Reagans, and Dean Kremer all available to pitch. I think I'm going to go, at least at the start, I'm going to go five-man rotation. If we start to get in a little bit of a jam, jam, then I will uh, start to maybe move it down lessen it to maybe a four or a three-man rotation depending on who's playing good, who's not playing good. We'll play it by ear, basically. And then in the lineup terms, we have basically the best lineup we've ever had. We've got guys that are unbelievably hot right now in terms of hitting, like De La Cruz, Key Brian Hayes, Nolan Gorman, Vladdy, Tatis. All these guys are unbelievable in terms of hitting. We've got good speed. We've got good defense. We've got good power, good contact. Like we are just all around good team as you can see by our 116 wins. So, if you're not familiar with how playoffs work on the channel, we play quick manage for each playoff game. If we need to jump in and try to help the team win, then we will certainly try to do that, but most of the time it's just quick manage, quick manage, quick manage to get through all of the playoffs and all of the entire bracket until eventually, hopefully, we win the World Series. So, here we go. Game 1 of the NLDS, McClanahan gets the bump. Oh, we have two val invalid lineups? What? Who's not in? Oh, they switched the lineup. Why is Wyatt Langford playing? What in the world? What is going on here? Okay, so who's the DH originally? It's De La Cruz. Why is De La Cruz not DHing here? So now he is. So who is playing shortstop over here? It's Gunnar Henderson. Why is Gunnar Henderson not in the lineup? I have no idea. And then what's this missing? It's left field. Who's playing left field? It's Nolan Jones. Why is Nolan Jones not in the lineup? I have no idea what's going on there. Sometimes MLB The Show just changes my lineup so so much. It's annoying. But we'll make sure that it is exactly where we want it to be. De La Cruz goes there, there. Okay, perfect. All right, now we've got a valid lineup. Now it's time to quick manage game. Number one of the NLDS, Padres Diamondbacks, De La Cruz, MVP, all that good stuff. McClanahan gets the bump. Let's do this thing. All right. I need a good showing from Shane McClanahan, and I need a good showing from our offense. And look at that, three straight singles. That's a very good showing. Nolan Gorman with a two R or three RBI double clears the bases. Exactly what I'm looking for. That's how you start. Three nothing, bottom of the first. That is how you start a playoff run. We just need Shane McClanahan to have one of his great performances. Lead off walk, but we can't do anything with it. 
Okay, McClanahan's pitching well. De La Cruz not hitting well in game one. A little bit concerning there. Double play, good job, defense. Two-run homer by Nolan Gorman, who finished third in, in MVP voting this year. They already pulled their starter. Hit by pitch. One run scored on the walk. Bases loaded walk. Are you are you kidding me? Ellie De La Cruz got a walk? That's crazy. McClanahan gets another double play, gets out of the inning. Two-run homer from Nolan Gorman. This could be Nolan Gorman's playoff run. I mean, he had 41 home runs this year. He absolutely dominated. Finished third in MVP voting. This could be his, his year to take over. Or his playoff run to take over. I would love that. All right. Do we give McClanahan the game? I think we do to start with. One run score, so the shutout's gone. Another, okay, 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 okay. I get the idea. I maybe stretched it a little bit too much. Two more runs are scored. Ground out, okay. So the, the Dimebacks got a couple of runs back in the ninth, but we do take game one. Maybe I should have taken McClanahan out of there because that kind of hurt his ERA a little bit. But still a good performance. We take game one of the series. Now we've got Freddie Peralta going against us. We got the camo on. And it's going to be Bobby Miller taking the mound. So we'll see how game number two goes. I'd love to start out as hot. I was going to say, I'd love to start out as hot in the bottom of the first as we did in game one. That was pretty amazing. All right, Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Figure it out. There we go. Good job. We're going to need another big game from Nolan Gorman, it looks like. Or somebody to step up. Bobby's doing a good job of keeping the Diamondbacks off the score sheet. Walk for Corbin Carroll. An error in a run-run scored on a Cattell Marte RBI. Now it's another RBI, so we're down 2 nothing, And Freddie Peralta is locking us down. Bobby Miller allows three runs. Another run. Okay, Bobby. I was going to give you a little bit of a break, but Bobby lets us go down there. Vladdy gets us on the board. I'd love to see a little bit of a rally, but it doesn't look like it's coming there. Single walk. Pitching change. There we go. That's our, That's what we needed. Oh, I was going to say that's what, exactly what we needed was a pitching change to get some momentum going. But we had the bases loaded and couldn't do anything with it. Double play, game over. We take or we lose game number two. We just couldn't figure out Freddie Peralta. That's all it was. Now we go back on the road to Arizona. 1-1 game. The Giants are actually up 2-0 on the Braves. That's kind of crazy. All right. It's going to be Spencer Strider's game. We'll see what we can do. I I think I mismanaged the Bobby Miller outing. I think I probably should have pulled him a, an inning earlier. Maybe then they don't get as many runs as they did. I don't know. It's hard to say now, looking back on it. But we need a big outing from Spencer Strider. He's a good pitcher. He's one of the best pitchers in baseball. We need him to prove that. And it looks like it's a very defensive game so far. Very pitching-friendly game here in Arizona. Game number three. There we go. Single, but nothing doing out of it. we got to be able to capitalize on that. Solace starts. Okay, they pull it from Perez, who came in last time. And De La Cruz with an RBI triple. That's what I'm talking about, Ellie. A single from Tatis scores another run. Ellie De La Cruz, I needed that. That was big. That was massive. And now it is time to shut the door. We bring in Jose Alvarado. And he will give us game number three. Good job from Spencer Strider and the, the rest of the boys. We get a much-needed victory. We take a 2-1 series lead. If we win this game, we move on. If we win this game, we move on. Do I give the ball? Do I give the ball to Cole Reagans? I think I do. Cole Reagans had a really good year. I think I give it to him. I think I'll give it to him. And a solo shot in the top of the first from Vladimir Guerrero Jr., but a Triolo two-run homer gets the Diamondbacks in front. That's not a good showing from Cole Reagans already, but maybe he just needs to cool down a little bit. You can figure it out, Cole. Vladdy's having a day, that's for sure. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Cole. And there's a double from Jackson Merrill to get the RBI to tie it. A two-run homer, Cole Reagans. And a double from McCarthy gets an RBI. It's 5-2. to two. Come on, Cole. All right, Cole's day is done. We're going to bring in Bruzdar. That wasn't a good decision. It looks like 6-2. to two. They pull their pitcher. Solo shot from Ethan Salas is beautiful. But a double play ruins our momentum. 
Okay, we're going top of the eighth. Hit by pitch, single, one run scored. We're trying to fight. We are trying to fight, but it's just not working. Top of the ninth. Do I jump in for the top of the ninth? I think I might have to. Let's jump in. De La Cruz at the plate, 9-1-2. and two. Top of the ninth, nobody out. Our last chance to try to get this series over with. Here comes Ellie De La Cruz. Nobody is out. It's the start of the ninth inning. They've got Pete Fairbanks in the game to end it and take us to game five. De La Cruz. Oh, what a play by the shortstop. Get there, Ellie. 99 speed. Ellie De La Cruz able to beat the throw. Thank you, ma'am. Good hit from De La Cruz, and I think this has got to be an obvious steal situation. Jackson Merrill at the plate. De La Cruz is going to take off. He should have this by a mile, and he will. Beautifully done. That gets rid of the double play opportunity. It's a 1-2 count to Merrill. All right, Jackson. They call that a strike? That's crazy. He painted that corner unbelievably. Don't swing it. Ay, ay, ay. Pete Fairbanks is painting the edges here. I don't like this. Come on. I was super early. I was not expecting off speed. That's on me. I was not expecting off speed whatsoever. I should have been. That was a good pitch from Fairbanks. He caught me completely off guard. I was sitting fastball. Not swinging at that. Not swinging at that. I could, in theory, take third as well with De La Cruz. I feel pretty confident in him getting it. But I don't really want to risk it, I don't think. Tatis bloops it. Go, De La Cruz, go. Send him home. I think De La Cruz can beat that throw. Yes, he can, absolutely. And Tatis beats it in second. Beautifully done, Tatis. Good hustle. RBI double from Fernando Tatis. Nice little blooper in a shallow center. And that brings up Vladdy. Does he have a home run in this game? I think it's in this game. It's the home run. Tying run at second. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. crushes that baseball. Oh, it doesn't get over the wall, though. It's still a massive double. It's still a massive RBI double. Vladdy crushed that baseball. Huge hit. And they bring in Perez. We destroyed the confidence of Pete Fairbanks. He blew the save. Nolan Gorman will take a walk, but that does free up the double play. So maybe that's a bad decision. I don't know. Got to be confident, though. Gunnar Henderson, a double and a single today. If he puts something in the outfield, it most certainly scores Vladdy. Oh, that's another walk. I didn't even read the, the count. I didn't even know it was a walk situation. 1-2 count to Nolan Jones. The bases are juiced. The salami has been a po uh, put on the table here. Oh, I just need a blooper. All I need is a blooper. If I can just pop one into shallow outfield territory, we get at least one, maybe two. Ay, ay, ay. Early swing again. Another strikeout. Key Brian Hayes, 0 for 4 today. 0 for 4 today. But I just need one hit from you, Key Brian. Or a walk. I'll take a walk. You walk in a run, the, the, the leading run. I'll take that for sure. Wow. I didn't even take the bat off the shoulders. I didn't even take the bat off the shoulders. I feel embarrassed. I don't know why. I was just so fixated on getting the walk that I just assumed he was going to throw a ball four. So I just didn't even take the bat off the shoulders. I am disgusted in myself. That is embarrassing. That's a pitch that Key Brian Hayes smacks into the outfield, I would assume. That is crazy. I mean, I'm happy that we were able to tie this game back up, but... That is insanity that I didn't take the bat off the shoulders even. Not even like a check swing. I just stood there and took the strikeout. Absolute craziness by me. Don't even know what I'm doing. I'm choking in the big game scenarios. Nolan Jones, get there. Oh, off the wall. It took a crazy bounce. He's got 95 speed. This could be the walk off inside the park home run. Throw it home. He's not going to go home. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You got to go home there. Jake McCarthy... Just got a triple. Throw home. You got to go home, Key Brian. Got him. Yes! We stay alive. 
Key Brian Hayes, good throw. Somehow we stay alive there. I don't even know. Jake McCarthy, triple, one out triple, you serious? If I was him, I probably would have sent him home. 95 speed, I would have, I would have tried to believe in it. And that's a great pitch from Mason Miller to get us to extras. We got free baseball. They bring in Brandon Williamson. Ethan Salas will step up. All right, Ethan. Top of the 10th. Oh, no! The first baseman does a great job of keeping it in the infield. And Salas doesn't have the speed to beat it. And now it's back to where we started. Ellie to the Cruz. We jumped in with him last inning. And now we're right back to him. That's ball number two. Come on, De La Cruz. You had such a good regular season. Let's continue it right here. That's going to go into shallow right field. It should drop and it does right in front of the right fielder. De La Cruz gets on base. Do I steal again? I think I have to, right? Unless, is Williamson a lefty? He is a lefty. Oh, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but I think I'm still going to try it. De La Cruz going. They're going to pitch out. Get there, De La Cruz. He does. Woo, that was closer. But De La Cruz makes it. Takes away the double play. All right, Jackson. I struck out with you embarrassingly last time. I don't want to do that again. I blooped it into right field. Get down. It doesn't get down. No, no, De La Cruz, get back. Oh, my God. I thought for sure that was getting down. I almost sent De La Cruz home immediately. Oh, my God. I almost screwed that up. That was close. Whew. That would have been phenomenally bad base running by me. I got way too excited about that. I thought that was going to drop for sure. All right, Tatis. I need one bloop from you. One bloop into the outfield. That scores. Ta no, 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 no. That, that seems enticing. I get thrown out there immediately if I try that. Not risking it. Not risking it when we have a chance for Tatis to get a base hit here into the outfield. Get over the second baseman head. and Nope, it's not. Darn it, man. We're going to even more extras. I hate it. I know, Tatis. I know. Uh, we're going to bring in Brian Abreu. Bring in Brian Abreu. We got Jordan Walker. He swings and misses over that. 2 2 count. Maybe a little slurve action. This is way too much baseball that I was hoping for here in the game four situation. Luckily, there is a day off. If we are to lose this game, there is a day off in between game four and five. So, good strikeout. Tell Marte's got a decent day. And he's going to bloop that into right field. What a hit. That is a picture-perfect base hit right there. Tremendous hit from Cattell Marte. Gurriel Jr. comes up. Can really use a double play. Oh, that would have been a perfect double play. That really would have been. We'll hit him with a slurve. Oh, Vladdy, you got to pay attention there, Vladdy. You got to have the reaction. There we go. Good strikeout. Good strikeout by Brian Abreu. All right, who comes up next? Now we don't have to worry about the double play. Now we all we got to do is worry about the out, and it's Jordan Lawler. And Jordan Lawler sends that to right field. Tatis chases after, and Fernando Tatis gives us the top of the 11th. I don't like this one bit. I don't like this one bit. I really wish that Vladdy would have just got it over with and hit that home run instead of the double. That's going to go to left field, but it's going to be right in the glove of the left fielder. That's a missed opportunity right there. All right, Nolan Gorman, you took the walk earlier, but you had 41 home runs in the regular season. I believe in you. No, no, check swing. Good job. Come on, Nolan. Good rip of that one. Into right field, base hit. Good job, Nolan. Good timing on the PCI. Good job. Just good all-around base hitting. Number five hitter comes up. Gunner Henderson, I need you to do something. You took a walk last time. Could use another base hit here. Oh, my God, that's a hit that I missed. It looked like it was going to be a ball until the last second when I chose to swing at it. Come on, Gunner. 
Oh, I chopped that one. Why did I do that? Gunner beat the throw. Don't get a double play. He did get a double play. Oh my god, I just can't get lucky, can I? Everything is going not my way. And this dude's been the bane of my existence. He's had like a home run in back-to-back -back games. Oh, he almost had another one. Nolan Jones goes after it. First out of the bottom of the 11th. Gabriel Moreno. That's a walk. I didn't realize the count. It's my bad. But that puts a double play situation in, into play. Jake McCarthy. This dude is killing me. Merrill takes a good angle to it. It's going to be a double. Oh, I wonder if I would have just thrown it straight to second if I would have got him. Jake McCarthy is out of control right now. I don't know why he's so difficult for me to hit or to get out. I might have to add him to that list of guys that just are for some reason hard for me to get out. Oh, come on, Brian. Why are you pitching so far away? I'm putting these in the zone. There we go. It's a chopper. We got to go to third. Or we got to go home, I mean, if he puts it in play. Never mind. He swings and misses on the slurve. So Triolo goes out. And now all we got to do is get the out. Corbin Carroll doesn't matter what happens. As long as it's a base. Or it's as long as it's uh, in play. Fouls off the slider. Do I give him the slurve? I think I have to. I know that Abreu's getting tired. Swing and a miss. Get him out. 96 speed. He almost beat the throw. You got to be a little quicker there, Ethan. But Abreu gets out of danger. Jake McCarthy, man, he's killing me. We're going to schedule Devin Williams to put in the game if we have to go. Well, we obviously we'll have to go to the bottom half of the 12, no matter what, because we're the road team. Merrill, bloop it, please. Or Nolan Jones, excuse me. I thought that was Merrill for a second. Nolan Jones bloops it, leadoff single. Big play from Nolan Jones. Do I have anybody on? Hold on. Do I have anybody on? Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Call, call a timeout there. Substitution. Do I have anybody on the bench that's fast? Nolan Jones is 70 speed. Mariano Alfonso's 90 speed. I might put in the young rookie. Mariano Alfonso's coming in to pinch run. He doesn't have the speed situation does he 86 steel oh you know what i might try it 90 speed 86 steel get rid of my double play scenario get that rookie mariano alfonso does that. i don't think he's a rookie anymore i just keep calling him rookie <laughs> oh that was a strikeout though so we eat the strikeout with key brian hayes that's okay because we put the winning run or the uh the leading run in scoring position man i can't figure out these pitches from brandon williamson Come on, Solace. I know you can do it. I know you got this in you. Chopper. That'll get him to third. It's It does a job. It's not a good job because it does take an out away, but it does a good enough job for the should have been MVP. Ellie De La Cruz. All right, Ellie. A base hit gives us the lead. De La Cruz down the third baseline. Called fair. And the Padres have a 7-6 to six lead. Thank you, Ellie De La Cruz. Oh my God. He did it again. De La Cruz gives us the lead. You've got to be kidding me. And Jackson Merrill, get down. Get down. Get down. No! What a play in center field. Oh, it's Jake McCarthy. What a play. If that gets over him, that might be an inside the park home run. Probably not, but. All right, Alfonso goes to play left, and Devin Williams needs three outs to move us to the NLCS. That's the first one. Jordan Walker pops that up into the foul territory in first base. Vladdy goes and gets it. Now it's Cattell Marte. Tough guy to get out, but he grounds it to Vlad, and Vlad grabs, steps on the bag. Two down, two quick outs for Devin. Good job. Guriel, 1-1 one -one count to him. Let's do this. Come on, Devin. Give me something here. There's the cutter. Ooh, did not control that one very well at all. Come on, Devin. There we go. Good good blow by pitch. 3-2 count to Guriel. Sweeping curve is a little risky, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Oh, it's foul. Please let that be fair. Come on. I just wanted the out. And the sweeping curve in the San Diego Padres move on to the NLCS in four games. Wow, that was a battle. That was an absolute battle. We move on 
Big victory. What an RBI single from Ellie De La Cruz in the top of the 12th. If it had to come from anybody, I'm glad it came from Melly De La Cruz. And look how happy the boys are. What a battle in the DS. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Devin Williams gets the save. Abreu gets the win. I just couldn't figure out Brandon Williamson for the most part. Could not figure him out. We get a huge victory. We move on and we will take on the San Francisco Giants. Okay. The Giants will make it on past the Braves. Wow, the Giants were the sixth seed, the lowest seed in the bracket. That's crazy. How many wins did they have this year? The Giants had 86 wins and made the playoffs as a wild card team and are playing us. So it's a division matchup. It's also the Guardians and the Twins. So every top seed lost except for us. The Red Sox, who had 103 wins, they lose to the Guardians. The Royals lost. They were the two seed. Wow, crazy. And two six seeds. The Twins were the six seed over on the AL side. So two six seeds go to the CS. Absolute craziness happening here in uh, the baseball playoffs. We will not have Dean Kramer pitch. We'll go right back to the number one McClanahan for game one of the CS. And we'll see how this goes. That's not a good start. Zhang Ho Lee with a, a solo homer to give the Giants a one-run lead. Come on, McClanahan. Figure it out. There we go. Solo shot from Nolan Gorman. Like to see that. One run scored on a single. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's there we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Six runs in the bottom of the second. That's how you get a lead. That's how you establish dominance. Ken Waldachuk is in now. Solo shot from Gavin Lux. Okay, McClanahan. You're starting to get a, worry me a little bit here. You're supposed to be my ace number one. And you're starting to worry me slightly. Lead off double. Can't do anything with it. Okay, okay. They take out Waldachuk. I'm going to take out McClanahan. I'm going to bring in Mason Miller. And we are going to get to the top of the ninth. And Mason Miller is going to give us the victory. Huge second inning. Six runs in the bottom of the second is exactly what I'm talking about, baby. Exactly what we needed. All right. Now we have probably uh, Bobby Miller. Although Bobby struggled in, in uh, his game against the Diamondbacks. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, he gets out of the first inning. There's a little bit of danger, but he gets out of it. Tatis the triple is huge. Bases loaded after two walks. Nolan Jones can't do anything with the bases loaded. Really, Nolan? All right. Couple of hit. There we go. Gunner Henderson, three-run homer. Gunner Henderson with a huge hit. Single RBI single from De La Cruz. As you would expect, he's goaded. We are crushing Kyle Harrison. Now they bring in Wall to Chuck, who we fared pretty well against. But he strikes us out. Oh, Sable with a, a solo shot gets us on the board, or gets the Giants on the board. I think that's going to be uh, Bobby's day over. Two-run homer. Gunner Henderson, oh my god. Two home runs in this game. Five RBIs. Absolute insanity from Gunner Henderson today. We needed a man to step up, and it was Gunner. And Brian Abreu ends it. There it is. Another victory. Gunnar Henderson. My God, what a day. Now we go on the road to San Fran in one of the most beautiful ballparks in all of basic baseball. Oh, man, what a showing. What a showing from the good guys. All right, it's not going to be Bobby, obviously. I'll give it to Spencer Strider. Okay, let's start off hot. Nope, not, not going to do it, at least in the first. There it is. Nolan Jones homer. Why couldn't you have done that last game with the bases loaded? <laughs> Bryce Harper. I forgot Bryce Harper was in San Francisco. Double from Vladdy gets an RBI. Let's go. And this could be one of those Spencer Strider gems. This could be one of those Spencer. Oh, maybe not. Bryce Harper with a solo shot. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Three walks in this inning is crazy from Blake Snell. Three runs scored on a double. He clears the bases. Ethan Salas, huge, uh, huge double right there. Waldachuk comes in. Strider still pitching pretty well. Only allowed the one run. Solo shot from Key Brian Hayes is beautiful. 
And a double from Zhang Ho Li. Okay, that's that's Strider's day over. We're gonna give him the the rest of the day off. We're gonna bring in Bruzdar Gratterall. Bruzdar's gonna get the job done. Another RBI single from Key Brian Hayes. And I'm just gonna let Bruzdar finish it out. Maybe. Yes, okay. There it is. Three straight victories over the San Francisco Giants. Huge, 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 huge. And now we go to game four. Guardians are up 2-0 on the Twins. We go to game four. In Oracle. We're going to give it to... Haven't pitched... I pitched Reagans and he, he scared me. So I'll pitch Kremer this game. We haven't pitched Kremer. We just need... Uh-oh. Come on, Dean. Figure... Oh, Dean! 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 What happened there? Five runs, Dean. What was that all about? I don't like that one. Two more. Dean, what's happening? Maybe I should have pitched. Oh, my God. Dean's day is over. What just happened there? Two innings, Dean? I'm not even sure how to speak after that. A solo shot. To, oh yeah, this one's just over. Let's just get out of this one. This just wasn't our day. It wasn't in our... It wasn't in the script for us to sweep the Giants. They had to get at least one. So let's just get out of this. We at least don't get shut out. That's nice. We'll let Kopak go even further. They bring another guy. Yeah, this one's this one's over. This one is Avita Zen. Yeah, that one's over. That was just a rough game. Dean Kramer was the wrong idea to pitch. That's for sure. It was the wrong idea to pitch, Dean. That's my bad. Didn't realize he was going to have such a disgusting performance. It looks like we go back to McClanahan then. I think we always do better when we start hot. When we get a couple of runs in the first couple of innings, and there we go. De La Cruz with an RBI, two RBI double, actually. I'd love to get some more runs going. There we go. I asked for it, and I got it. Okay. 3 nothing. We've done pretty well against Waldachuk, but we can't have the bases loaded against him twice on two at-bats, and we couldn't get anything going. All right, McClanahan doing really well right now. They are burning their bullpen trying to get this game back. McClanahan's only allowed two hits so far. Last time I had McClanahan in this situation, it kind of went bad for him. But it goes well this time. And the San Diego Padres have won the NLCS for the first time in the series. And we are playing in the World Series against the Cleveland Guardians. Oh my god. We have finally gotten here. The World Series. We lost two years in a row in the NLCS. Last year we lost in the wild card. Finally we conquered those demons and we get to the world series it is against a very good and a very dangerous guardians team they've already taken out the astros they've taken out the red sox and they've taken out the twins they are a dangerous team but so are we we are dangerous as well game one of the world series who are we going to pitch against or who are we going to pitch for i'm not giving it to kramer that's for sure i think i got to give it to McClanahan. he had about a week off got to give it right back to him again Oops, I didn't mean to simulate the whole inning, but whatever. Okay, Shane allows a run, but we can rally. It's only one run. Going against Gavin Williams. Double from Vlad. Can't do anything with the double. Come on, guys. Two runs scored. Down 3-1 or 3 nothing. Solo shot from De La Cruz. Huge. Two-run homer from Vlad. He ties it. One run scored on a triple from Gunnar Henderson. That's exactly what I'm talking about, baby. Huge. Oh, but a solo shot from Doyle. I think that's McClanahan's day over with. Two-run homer of Jackson Merrill. Oh, my God. The boys are showing up and showing out. Matt Strong. Gunnar Henderson. Talk about a goat. Gunnar Henderson with a three-run homer. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Two runs scored from Doyle. He's a dangerous player. 
Okay, 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 okay. There, we get out of it. Good job. 10 to 6. What a comeback. The fifth and the or the sixth and the seventh were massive. And Gunnar Henderson is a big reason why. We take game one of the World Series. We take game one of the World Series. Still at home. And we will pitch probably Bobby Miller. It's a little risky. He's been up and down in this postseason so far. Give him one more chance. Could be a defensive game. Could be a pitching duel today. Oh, never mind. Solace with the home run. Bases loaded. Strikeout. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why could we never capitalize on those bases loaded situations? Come on, Bobby. Good job, Bobby Miller. Oh, two run score from Akil Badu. Not ideal. Mm, okay. Solace the single. They pull Tristan McKenzie. Fielder's choice. Single. Sack fly. Three to one. They bring in Clay Holmes. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. All right. I think I'm going to jump in here. I think I'm going to jump in here. Down by two in the bottom of the ninth. Let's try it. They bring in Johan Duran. To shut the door on game two of the World Series. 2-1 count, bottom nine to Nolan Jones. First pitch swing and I hate myself. <sighs> All right, quick first out. Quick first out. J-Ram goes and gets it. Key Brian Hayes. All right, Key Brian, what you got for me? Oh, beautiful hit. That's extra bases into the right center gap. He's not fast enough to get a triple, I don't think. No, just get a double. Get a double. If that's De La Cruz, it's a triple. But that's a really good start. Good job, Key Brian. And now it's Ethan Salas. He's had a good good series in the World Series. Had a good playoff run, too. I'd love a hit in that exact same area, really. Oh, nope. That's just a chopper. That'll move the runner to third, but it's an unnecessary out. It's okay. <sighs> but it's Ellie De La Cruz. All right, Ellie. I need you to step up. You won us the game in the DS. I'd love you to give us a 2-0 lead in the World Series. 2-1 count. Ellie De La Cruz. Our last hope. Oh, what a pitch. Thought that was going to be a ball. Thought that was going to be a ball. Got to swing at that. De La Cruz RBI single. Big hit from Sing uh, from De La Cruz. Big base hit. Brings us within one. And obviously we're in a steal situation. They pulled Duran for Jordan Wicks. Oh, they want to get the lefty matchup in there. Okay, makes sense. But De La Cruz is obviously stealing here. Except for a hit and run situation. Jackson Merrill, oh my God. Jackson Merrill, walk off in game two. Jackson Merrill. Santa Maria! Oh my god! Jackson Merrill walks us off in unbelievable fashion. You have got to be kidding me. The first pitch I see from the new pitcher, and it was supposed to be just a steal situation, but it changed to a hit and run. And Jackson Merrill said, forget about the hit and run. We're taking this home. Oh my God, the Padres lead 2-0 in the World Series. I wasn't even expecting that to be a hit. I was just trying to get that into the outfield so that De La Cruz could get a hit and run situation. Oh baby. Jackson Merrill carries it over the wall. What a performance from the boys. We walk it off in the bottom of the ninth. And we take the first two games of the World Series. Jordan Hicks. I The first pitch I saw from him is a home run. Absolute insanity. Here in San Diego. Now we have the next three games in Cleveland. Wow. That could not have been a better game. Now we've got game three in the land of Cleve. And we've got Spencer Strider on the mound. Alright boys. Let's do this. 
Soft leadoff home run from Brian Rocchio. That's not a good way to start. Come on, Strider. You're better than that. Why can we never do anything with bases loaded? I hate that. We get the base loaded so many different times and we can never do anything. All right, sack fly RBI gets it 2 nothing. Spencer Strider's kind of getting rocked a little bit here. We got to figure it out, Spence. Okay, double from Tatis. The bats have not woken up officially yet. There we go. Tatis with a home run gets this within one. But Strider, oh my God, Strider. <sighs> Come on, boys. Let's wake up a little bit here. Two run homer from Bo Naylor. Game three, I think, is in the books. I mean, yeah, I, I could have tried to jump in there, but I didn't really see a, a reason why. So we lose game three. Guardians take that one. It's okay. We can come back. We just weren't there. We just weren't ready. Strider sucked that game. I guess I go back to Cole Reagans. I don't even know. I don't. I definitely don't want Dean Kramer. Okay, Naylor with the home run. I don't like these Guardians scoring in the bottom of the first. We do get two runs in our half of the second, so that's something. Come on, boys. Let's let's figure it out. Where did all those? runs go in the first couple games bases are loaded with one out we got to do something here thank you jackson merrill and another single from vladdy bases loaded again gunner henderson he's been killing it this postseason three runs scored on a double from gunner henderson i might kiss that man he is having the world series run of his life 10 to 2 we are rolling the Guardians in game four. And all Cole Reagans needs to do is just control the rest of the game. Just don't make any stupid mistakes. And now his day is going to be over. Two run. Oh my God, Gunnar Henderson. I'm gonna come. It's insane, Gunnar Henderson. You're going out of control. Twelve to two, absolute anarchy in Cleveland. Gunnar Henderson gives us a three-one lead over the Guardians. You have got to be kidding me. We have one game remaining, hopefully, between us and our first world title. I'm gonna give it to Shane. He's pitched a lot of baseball this postseason, but I'm gonna give it to him. Game five. We get a run in the top of the second. If Gunnar Henderson even has half of a game that he had last game, then we will be good to go. J Ram did score another run, so it's one to one. Come on, Shane. You're our ace for a reason, Shane. We can't figure out Gavin Williams, though, but they bring in Tanner Beebe and a three-run homer from the MVP, Ellie De La Cruz. We are two innings away from a world championship. Another run score from Nolan Jones. Shane's day is over. We're going to the bullpen. Oh, my God. It's time. It is time. Alvarado comes in. I'm jumping in. We are getting this, soup, this World Series victory. Three outs between us. And the promised land. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have three outs remaining in our season. If we are able to get these three outs, we will win the first World Series of the series in the final season. Alvarado is going to do it. This is why we traded for him. We got rid of Emmanuel Classe. We traded for him. And this is for the reasons, this is the reason why. To pitch in these big games. And to shut the door. It's 2, 3, and 4. Akil Badu has not had a great day today, but he's had a decent postseason. But for some reason, he's not chasing that cutter away. So we'll go to the sinker. I think I am going to have to pitch against Jose Ramirez, which I don't want to do, but I'm going to have to. Akil Badu is fighting very well. I don't like it at all. 3-2 counts. He just wouldn't chase the cutter, man. Very good discipline from Akil Badu. 
Very good discipline. It's Josh Naylor. Hardly know her. Oh, Key Brian Hayes on to second. To Gorman on to first. And that's a double play. And just like that, the Guardians are down to their final out in the season. And it is Jose Ramirez. If I mean, for anybody to have their last chance, I guess you'd want it to be Jose Ramirez. And he grounds it to Vladi, and for the first time, the San Diego Padres are World Series champions. We have done it. The best record in the regular season. We fought through all the adversity in the postseason. Some crazy moments. Gunnar Henderson, if we didn't have him on the team, we probably don't win these games. But we did it. Unfortunately, we had to do it on the road, but it's a win, and it's a World Series for the Padres. What a way to end the series. I was going to be super upset and very disappointed if we had to end this rebuild with no championships won, because then it would feel like a failure. But it took us until the final breath, the final season, and the San Diego Padres are World Champions for the first time in the series. Wow. Wow. We did it. I didn't think it was going to happen. I really didn't think it happened. But I knew with the way we were playing this regular season, 116 wins, I knew that wasn't just smoke and mirrors. I knew that it had, there actually had to be some substance behind it. And there was. Between De La Cruz, Gunnar Henderson, Fernando Tatis, Vladdy, all of these guys in the lineup were hitting unbelievably well this, this postseason run. Nolan Gorman hit great. And it's the first, not only the first one in the series, it's the first one in team history. Congratulations to these boys. You're going to remember it forever. And what a way to end. What a way to wrap up the series. It couldn't have ended better. I literally, it can't, it can't end better than that. We win a championship. Man, there was some rocky times in this postseason. I thought we were going to lose in the DS. I thought we were going to lose in the DS. And then I thought we were going to lose in the Giants series. And then I thought we were going to lose in the Guardian series. Look at some of these to run totals we were putting up. Eight runs in game one of the DS. Seven runs in game four. Six runs in game one. Seven runs in game two. Seven runs in game three. I mean, we were just unloading. Then 10 and 12. I mean, we were just unloading runs on some of these these games. It's got. I was going to say, it's got to be Gunnar Henderson. Gunnar Henderson takes home the World Series MVP. I mean, he was just unbelievable in the World Series. Unbelievable. And then they give it to Vladdy in the uh, the postseason. I would have gave it to Gunnar as well. I mean, Gunnar was crucial in some of these wins in the, in the rest of the postseason, but it goes to Vladdy. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is your series finished. The San Diego Padres finally have a World Series we played five seasons of Padre baseball. We officially rebuilt them, and we got a World Series championship. I had a real good time with this series. A lot of fun. I don't know who I'm going to pick in MLB The Show 25 when it comes out in March. Probably somewhere along the lines of the Nationals, or I'll probably go back to the American League since we were in the National League this year. So it'll probably have to be who's one of the bad teams in the uh, in the American League. Uh, the White Sox, are pretty obviously, are the worst team in the American League. Maybe we do that, but I feel like a lot of people next year are going to be doing the White Sox as their team. So maybe we stay away from them. We could do the Angels. Angels are bad as well. They're always bad. So Angels might be an option. The A's are obviously an option because they're going to be moving to Sacramento for a couple of years until their stadium in Vegas is ready. So the A's might be a fun one, but I feel like the A's are going to be one that everybody does as well. A's and White Sox are going to be like the two big ones in the American League that people are going to do next year. So I might want to stay away from those. As far as, I'm not going to do any National League teams because we just did the Padres this year. I like to go back and forth. We did the Reds, then the Royals, and now the Padres. So I feel like it's going to be back to the American League. I, I kind of like the idea of the Angels. Angels are a perennial bad team. They had three of the greatest players to ever pick up a baseball bat on the same team at the same time and never won a playoff game. They had Trout, Pujols, and Otani at the same time and were never able to win even a playoff, maybe even make the playoffs. Actually, I think they made the playoffs once in the wild card and lost all three or all the games. So, Because I know I think there's a stat out there that says Mike Trout's never won a playoff game, so which is just absolutely insane. So we might do the Angels next year and then we'll be the show 25. 
It's probably between those three teams, Angels, A's, and White Sox. I guess I'll figure out as we get deeper and deeper, closer to actually MLB The Show 25 dropping, and I'll kind of see what the landscape is of other MLB The Show rebuilders and see if people are doing the White Sox. I feel like pretty much everybody's going to choose the White Sox because they were just the worst team of all time, literally. Not even hyperbole. They were the worst team of all time. So I'm expecting a lot of people to choose them because they're just going to be like the, they're going to be the hot name to rebuild because they were so bad. And then probably the A's as well because they're just a perennial bad team and they're now moving out of Oakland. So that'll probably be a hot team to rebuild as well. Maybe people won't choose the Angels. So I'm, I'm thinking Angels. The Angels are probably at the top of the list. That's for sure. Angels are at the top of the list. But I had a real good time rebuilding this this Padres team. We made some fun moves. We brought in Shane McClanahan a couple of years ago. He was fun. We I think we signed him. and did we? No, we traded for him. We, traded, we definitely traded for him in the offseason, I think. He was a fun person to bring in. I've always wanted to bring Shane McClanahan to one of my rebuilds, and he's just always so expensive and so hard to get, but we finally had the assets to do it. We also got Bobby Miller, I think, for this yeah for this one year. Cole Reagans was a weird one. He was fun, but he was also a little little up and down. Spencer Strider, I love to bring in because Spencer Strider is such a good pitcher now with the show. He always does really, really well. Wins a bunch of Cy Youngs, does a bunch of stuff like that. Then Dean Kramer was kind of one that just like appeared. He just had such a good year last year in 2027 that I was like, I feel like I have to get him. And then this year he pitched well uh, also, but he did not pitch well in the postseason. He had one outing and he got crushed. But we also made a move to get Jacob Mizorowski. Never really made it to the big leagues, but I, I did like having him on the team. Noble Meyer, Sean McCain. He was one of our draft picks who looks like he could be pretty good in the future. Justin Donnellan was one of our draft picks as well. He was a fun guy. I think he was one of the first guys that we drafted. And maybe in that first uh, first draft. But obviously, our most important draft pick we ever made was Mariano Alfonso. He was in that first draft. He, I think he was the first pick of that first draft that we made. And he turns out to be a really good pitcher, a really good player. He is only 21. He's going to continue to grow. He's got a spot in this team probably forever. Probably forever. So he was really fun to have. Bullpen, we, we traded in the later years for a couple of closing pitchers that we turned into uh, relievers, but these are some of the, the young top 50 prospect guys that we had. We had a good time with those guys. We we really had an unbelievable bullpen, just an unbelievable bullpen. We made some moves. We had different closing pitchers throughout the time. We had, uh, it went through, what, Ho- Johan Duran, I think we had, right? And then it started or Then it started with him. Then we moved to Emmanuel Classe. Then we got Jose Alvarado at the end, so... We did go through a bunch of different closing pitchers. We also had Devin Williams. We signed in free agency. We had Mason Miller. We made a trade for, I think. So that was pretty fun. Love Mason Miller. Then we had Ethan Salas really develop into a great player. We had Luis Camposano for a little bit at the very beginning, and he was the starter. And then we moved officially to Ethan Salas. I think he started as like a 79, 78 overall player, something around there. And he grew to like an 89 overall, and he's going to continue to get better. He's going to be one of the better players on this team in a couple of years. We also had Sam Zuniga, who was a great player for us. We got in a trade. I don't remember how we got him, but we got him somewhere. Oh, was he in the... Did we get him in the... No, we don't have Anthony Rushman, obviously. I don't know why I'm thinking we how we got Sam Zuniga. I don't know. But then we got Vladdy. We signed him in free agency pretty early on. He was pretty fun to have. Uh, Nolan Gorman, we got in a trade, I think. Yeah, I think we traded for him in year one or maybe year two, whatever it was. He was pretty cool. He's just a stud. He just does so well in simulation and, and with the show. I don't know why. He just does probably because he's got 99 power versus righties. Uh, and then we had Key Brian Hayes we made for the, the deal this year. Colt Keith was okay. He's developed into a pretty solid player overall-wise. Uh, De La Cruz was so fun. I mean, he had just the best season I've ever seen in my life right here. These are crazy numbers for LA De La Cruz. Just annoying that he couldn't get the MVP. Gunnar Henderson was a World Series stud. He could probably he's probably never gonna have to buy anything ever in San Diego again with that World Series run that he had. But we had him for a long time. That's kind of crazy. CJ Abrams was a, a regular September call up. He never really made an impact that much on the team. Then we got Wyatt Langford. I was never really happy with any of our left fielders, really. I don't know what it was. We just never could find one that I, I really liked could really gel with we had Jackson Merrill the whole time which was the goal we wanted him to develop into that number one center fielder and I feel like he did that he also had that walk-off home run in the playoffs which is absolutely insane so he did that 
that was pretty awesome. And then obviously we talked about Alfonso and then Tatis was here the whole time, obviously. And a stud did get hurt. I think, uh, it must've been this year, 2026. He got hurt, but he never, he never did anything amazing in this series. He was just kind of okay. I was expecting him to have like an MVP caliber season one year, but he never really did that. But this was a super, super fun team. Really had a good time with it. If we go to the depth chart, we can see kind of the future of some of these young guys' overalls. So in, uh, this is 28-28, yeah. So next year in 2029, you got Triantos getting up to an 82 overall. Abrams actually goes to an 84 in left field. Merrill's a 93. Colt Keith would go up to a 90, 89. Some of our young guys, yeah. Like If we go all the way to, to 2032, actually we can't go to 2032 because some of our guys are going to be leaving but we got a 91 here. We got, look at these pitchers. We got Noble Meyer, who goes up to an 85 at this point. Alfonso's an 82. Solace is a 94. Yeah, we got some good youngsters on this team. If we're able to keep these guys around, these guys are going to be studs for a future. And I think we could, because if we go to our budget, we can probably move on from Vladi, uh, Vladimir Guerrero. That would free up a lot of money. He's getting a little bit older. We would probably move on. We would certainly move on from Isak Paredes. We just couldn't trade him. And then we would probably trade Spencer Strider at some point. We'd certainly trade Dean Kramer. We would trade maybe Devin Williams. We would free up a lot of money with some of these older guys getting out the door. We would definitely trade these guys. So if we were to go even further, that's probably where we would go. But that is going to do it for the series. I had so much fun doing this. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Next year, now will be the show 25. We will choose our next team. I'm kind of leaning towards the Angels, but, but I mean, we still got a ton of months. It's still, it's only November. So we still got a ton of months before it will be the show 25 comes out. So we will think on that, but I guess, I guess that's it. We got a, maybe a couple more episodes of Bolts franchise left to go. And then we will be done on the baseball channel until March. So I know it's a little sucky, but it is what it is. I had such a good time with this series. We finally got a world championship. I'm so happy about that. I'm glad it was a success and not a, a five-year failure of a rebuild. But we did it. We got the job done. We won the World Series. We had a great time, and I hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this series, please leave it a like. I mean, this episode alone deserves a like with some of the crazy stuff that happened in, the, in that playoff run. But subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Join the Juice Club. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching on any video but especially these Padre videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.